And two. Oh, oh man. Oh, risk-free bet. Thanks for the spot, bro. I really appreciate it, even though you don't have any arms and there's nothing you possibly could have done. That's that's not the point. I appreciate it, man. You know, standing next to you, though, it's tough. You've got this molded physique on you. I, I gotta know, risk-free bet. What's your secret? No? No, you're gonna remain tight-lipped on the whole subject? All right, I won't push. Well, I gotta try to get this second set and keep up with you. What is this? What is this? Risk-free bet. Are you on the juice? Oh, for shame, risk-free bet. For shame. Actually, it's pretty good juice if you can get it. Welcome all my betting brothers and sisters to the Odds Jam YouTube channel. I am Greg S and in today's video we're going to be talking about risk-free bets and how risk-free are they. And yes, that is a cat sleeping, oh I guess it's that way, uh, sleeping in the background behind me but I just didn't have the heart to move him. Alright, so risk-free bets are a popular promotion that the sports books will run, uh, both to draw in new users and for existing bettors alike. However, the books are very smart and while these bets aren't exactly scams, there are some pitfalls that the books will not outline for you. So the juice is not just what most pro bodybuilders and fitness influencers are on, it is also poured into the lines of most common wagers. The juice, also known as the VIG, is basically what the sports book is charging you to play, and it's expressed anytime you see these negative odds here. The negative 110 is the most common juice you're going to see, and basically it means you have to wager $110 to win 100. So in essence, they are charging you about 10 cents a dollar to make the bet. Uh, but hey, they only collect that juice if you lose the bet, correct? Well, that is true, but just like the juice is providing those influencers a perception that doesn't quite match up with reality, the juice can do the same thing for a risk-free bet. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's take an example. So uh, for the past NFL week, week four, BetMGM was running this promotion where it was a risk-free bet uh, up to $25 back when you wagered a prop bet on the first touchdown score of the game. They've been doing this uh, for most of the weeks of the NFL so far. And here was the terms. You opt in, you place the bet on a first touchdown score, and if it loses, they will give you up to $25 in free bets back. So what did I do? Well, if uh, you watched last video, and uh, if you didn't, go back, watch it, enjoy it, like it. Um, you knew that I was on the Chiefs in week four against my woeful, woeful Eagles. Uh, I got the line at minus six. I think it closed at seven, um, but it could have closed at uh, 10, and you still could have cashed. Um, so taking a look at who we could bet on to score the first touchdown. Uh, we know Mahomes loves him some Travis Kelsey and the linebacking core for the Eagles hasn't exactly been the most stellar unit on the field. So that was the bet I took. I only took it at $10. It's very difficult to pick a first touchdown score. If you can do it consistently, congratulations to you. Please let me know your secret down in the comments below. Um, it turns out it was Clyde Edwards Hilaire that made the first touchdown uh, in that game. However, he did it on a on a play that the Chiefs have used several times. It was sort of this uh, bowling underhand toss that Mahomes used to get the ball to uh, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, uh, and they showed a highlight package of all the different times that that play has been run by the Chiefs for a touchdown. And all three of the highlights they showed went to Travis Kelsey, but of course not this time because I had the bet in on him. So hey, I lost that bet. Again, going back to last video, you know this is the format for my bet tracker. I have added in an odds column, um, not only because that's a good idea and something I should have had in there, uh, but I will detail why I added that a little bit later. Okay, so here is that bet, and it lost, so we are at negative 10. Looking ahead to next week's game, week 5, uh, I sort of keyed in on the Cardinals-San Francisco game. So here we are on the Odds Jam webpage once again. We're going to take a look at the point spread here and scroll down. 
to where most books have it at, anywhere between the five and six. Most books have it at the five and a half, and you're going to see that minus 110 odds that I talked about. Um, so, you know, the Niners struggled in week four uh, against the Seahawks. That was to be expected. I actually cashed a money line bet on the Seahawks to win that game. Uh, Garoppolo was a little banged up. If you like the Cardinals at minus five and a half, which I think I do for week five, uh, you're going to want Garoppolo starting because uh, he did not look good as opposed to Trey Lance. Not that Trey Lance looked great, uh, but it was a little bit more up-tempo. Uh, you get more mobility upside uh, from Trey Lance as well. However, if he does make his first start, I'm not sure that he can handle the undefeated Arizona Cardinals firepower that they're bringing in, not just on offense, but on the defensive side of, of the ball as well. So if you like that spread, here it is. It's at the negative 110 odds. Um, okay, so I mentioned why I added odds into my tracker. Because in the last video, I also talked about the wonderful bet tracking feature that oddsjam.com will give you for free. Um, one of the really cool things you can do here is if you are going to take this bet on BetMGM, all you have to do is click on it and it will add it to the tracker for you. You just have to add in the stake. In this case, it's going to be that $10 free bet. So I enter in 10, hit save, and Boom, Odds Jam has added it into my bet tracker for me. We can go up here and we can take a look at it um, in here through the bets. And if you do need to edit anything that it will automatically import for you, boom, there it is already there for me. You can just hit this little edit button and we can change the bet type from normal to free bet. Save it. And we're good to go. Um, okay, so back to the juice. If that bet is one that we make with our free bet and it hits, the thing that the books won't outline for you about their free bet is that when you use those on their sites, you don't get the stake back. So if you're using real money and you put $10 on it and it hits, the amount the book is going to pay out to you is $19.09. Okay? And that includes your original $10 stake and the profit you made that 909 because of the juice on this bet. A free bet does not pay the stake back. So while this normally would be the amount won using a free bet, what the book is going to pay you, whoops, that's not right. What the book is going to pay you is this. So you will be up that 909 on that bet that you made, but overall you're down 91 cents. On that risk-free bet, the book gets to keep 91 cents of your hard-earned betting money. So your balance is not the same as it was when you first placed that risk-free bet. Um, if we can, we can take a look at the example, and that was just using $10. So let's go into, oh, the parlay calculator here, um, and we'll just do, we'll do 10. We know that was a minus 110 bet, minus 110, not 100. There we go. And our total payout was 909 minus, we're not getting that stake back, so that was only 909. Now, if we'd done the 25, look at that. They get to take more of our money. Now, most of these books will advertise uh, $100 free bets, 500, all the way up to 1,000. So if you did a $500 bet in this scenario, they got to keep nearly $50 of your money. If you did the $1,000 bet, well, look at this. They got to keep nearly $100 of your money from the juice. Is that really risk-free? So the only way to make these bets actually risk-free is to hit a plus money bet. If you can find something that is even odds, then you will get your actual bet stake back. If you can hit something a little bit higher, then great. Now you're making money. But the reason that bets are plus odds is because they are harder to hit. So the best case scenario for these books is for you to lose both your bets, your risk-free bet and whatever you use that free bet on, they get to keep your entire stake. But the next best uh, scenario for these books is for you to hit a minus odds bet and they still get to collect your juice. So when you are looking to uh, join up on a new book, or maybe you're not betting at all and you've come across the Odds Jam YouTube channel, uh, you've come across their website, you're super excited, you want to jump in, I would not recommend joining up and using the welcome offers like some of these books have. Foxbet here has that first bet risk-free on us um, up to $500. Hey, but if we click into this and we take a look at the terms, we're going to see that if it fails, you will be refunded as a free bet up to $500. So again, if you hit a minus odds bet, they are keeping some of your money due to the juice. So what I would recommend is finding more 
bets like or I'm sorry, more promotion offers like this one. Bet one dollar or more and win 150 in free bets instantly when you place any pro football bet. Now this is great because if they are just handing you free bets, well that's just as good as cash um, because you're still going to get what you would have profited. So in this case here, um, yeah, when I used the free bet, nothing had to come out of my bankroll, uh, but I didn't get the stake back, um, and I am only awarded that free bet because I lost one. If I hadn't lost anything. So if we take this loss out of there, then I'd just be up 909. So my amount bet would be NA, nothing would be coming out of my beginning balance because they're just handing me free bets as a welcome promotion. Anything you make there, you uh, it would be just like you were betting with your real money. Anything you lose will not negatively impact your beginning balance. So when you are looking for promos uh, to join up books, I highly recommend finding things that will uh, pay you out free bets for small wagers. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of things like uh, deposit matches either because if you go in and you read the fine print on those, they are generally going to have a um, playthrough um, requirement on them where you have to play through that money in order to withdraw it. Now, that's not too unusual, but books like BetMGM, while I do like BetMGM, uh, they can have upwards of a five times playthrough value where for every dollar you get from your deposit match, you have to play five dollars um, to access it. Um, there is also the time constraints that they will often put on. So if you're putting in a thousand dollars, yeah, they will match it with a thousand dollars of site credit, but uh, not only is there a playthrough requirement that might be more than one to one, but you have to use it within 30 days. So hey, if you're betting your own thousand dollars and that site credit thousand dollars within 30 days, more power to you. You've got a higher bankroll than I do. Um, but again, these are just welcome offers that I don't like. Um, I would much rather find See again, the risk-free bet here up to $1,000. I would much rather find things like this uh, where you bet a dollar win 100 in free bets because that's going to be literal free money and you don't have to worry about the juice. Um, FanDuel is an exception to this rule. Uh, one of the reasons I really like FanDuel is, yeah, while they will often have lower requirements here, uh, or I'm sorry, lower limits, I should say, where BetMGM was talking about $25, and here's the same game parlay, um, risk-free up to $10. On FanDuel, they actually give you site credit as opposed to free bet. So if you find a book like FanDuel that says the risk-free bet will pay out as site credit, usually what that means is that site credit does pay your stake back out. FanDuel certainly does. Um, I, I did a uh, risk-free bet. Um, with their same game parlay for week four, and who would have thought that uh, Darren Waller uh, couldn't manage five catches? He hadn't had anything lower than that, uh, and in the first half especially, he was a base, basically invisible to Derek Carr, I guess. So I lost that, and I do have a $10 free bet uh, to use. However, that will pay out the stake. So instead of just getting 909, if I do hit a minus odds, I'll get 19. I'll get that full 1909 paid back out from uh uh, from from FanDuel and I will actually be up as opposed to down the juice. So there are some books uh, that don't have that sort of uh, hidden uh, trap. So make sure you do your best to look out for that. So if you weren't already viewing risk-free promos in these terms, hopefully you are now and you know that you have to watch out for those risk-free bets that are on the juice. Uh, on the surface, this is pretty obvious, but I don't know that a lot of sports bettors think about this. I know I certainly didn't in my first year and a lot of my sports betting buddies didn't either until I pointed it out and it was sort of a, huh, oh yeah, that's obvious. Um, so if you have any thoughts on the matter, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you need to get a hold of me for some unknown reason, I can be reached at sportsbetg, that's sportsbet, the letter G, at gmail.com. If you like today's video, please be sure to show some plus EV love and click that like button. Make sure that you hit our subscribe button so that we can help you hit more of those bets. And don't forget to crush the notification bell so you never miss a gem that the jam will be dropping. And until next time, may all your odds be fair.